Hello and welcome. You remember in the last video, this is battery number one of the triage session I did not too long ago. Um, I did voltage recovery in this one because this one was, um, it is such a low voltage. It was the lowest volt battery I've ever seen in my life without being completely dead. And I did voltage recovery on it and put in the charge. And after putting the charge, the charger flashed the overheat light so it was getting too hot so I took it off let it cool down charged it again and left it overnight it has maintained the charge it will still work as you can see but it only managed to get up to three bars and I'm going to show you the reason for that now and what we have to do to fix it the screws are already out of this, so I'll just take it out of the box quickly and get down to business. We've got cell imbalance across the pack. If we go down, all the way down there, we'll see. Number one is 3.57. Number two is 3.59. Very close, close enough there. Um, number three is 3.63. Very a wee bit higher. Four. See, that's the problem. That's why she's only charging the three bars. Because this is 3.85. So this bank of cells has achieved a full charge. That's why the charger stopped charging it. These have not yet got that far. And this is nearly there, but not quite. So what we need to do is rebalance that pack. It takes a bit of time. But we can charge these three banks of cells together, bring them up to four. And then charge this in the zone, bring it up to four. Takes a wee bit of time, but we should be able to restore that pack to its former glory. Give it four bars and get it sorted out. So here we have the Laypro Balance Charger, the IMAX B6. I use these to charge individual banks of cells. I can charge the three together, which is the 11.13S, which is these three banks that we mentioned. And then I can charge this one on its own. So first of all, we need to connect it up properly. We need to get the negative on here. This negative should clip straight on here without any trouble. And the positive is more tricky because it's here. So it's negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to put a magnet here. And if you are attempting to do this, be very cautious because you could cross connect to another bank of cells which you don't want to do so we'll put that there and clip the positive on there see the little spark <coughs> I'll prop that up so you can see it and what we do is we press this button and hold because we have her set properly and then she wants me to confirm and then she'll start charging those three banks so i'm going to leave it a while and i'm going to come right back there when we were up to where we want her to be so these three banks of cells now are coming towards full charge you see the, the ampage is starting to drop and the voltage is starting to raise so we're, we're getting there so with these three nearly done then of course we move on to this one we should have a full balance pack but here we are much later now. I'm going to just switch this off. Now you can see it gets, it's got down to less than an amp going on. And the voltage is fairly high. So I'm going to stop her now. And see what these three banks of cells read. Just get the meter here. Have a good old look. Four point oh five, four point oh eight, near enough. Um, four point one three, about high. Might need to bring these two up and line with that, and then that in there. So I'll need to balance them all up to the highest high. So um, I'll just go for the two, two in the end here again, again. 
the metal one seems to have come up higher so we just balance this again put that on there now they've got the cells fairly well balanced just all about flashing light that they do when they're not happy these batteries but anyway we'll see if we can get her to charge and uh See what the charger says now. Charger says fully charged. Probably when we take her off, she'll show fully charged. Yeah, we've got the four bars now. So we'll finally call that fixed. But again, whenever you do them sort of procedures with a battery, the best thing to do is that are set in another way. So. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos. We'll do battery 2 very soon.